Good morning everyone and welcome back to Winding and Racing. As promised today I'm back on the golf car project and what I did this morning was a little bit more cutting and grinding and I set up this jig because all these uh, A-arms that we got to put together here need to be uniform and uh, so everything's close I'm gonna probably have to do a little bit of adjustment just to get everything to fit precisely in here. As you can see we got lines things need to be centered here and so different lengths just got to get it perfect before i weld it right here will be the frame structure to support the front suspension on the frame so this has to get all welded up and installed onto the frame then the a-arms we have our heim joints and bushings and uh so yeah, we're about ready to put this all together. So I'm going to get busy and uh, we'll see what we come up with by the end of the day.
Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Winding and Racing. Well, I tell you, I had one busy weekend putting this front end together, this front suspension on the golf cart project, and uh, I got to apologize. I was in the middle of fabricating the A-arms and everything. At some point, I was filming it all, and at some point, the camera shut off. I just kept on working, and uh, so I'm going to give you kind of an overview of what I did over the weekend, because uh, I didn't film as much as I wanted to, but especially yesterday i just put my nose to the grindstone and i wanted to get this done for you guys so let's take a look at things and uh and see what i did yesterday was the busy day because we did uh of course the shock towers and that's that's the most obvious thing that took place but i mean actually since uh since we looked at this i put the front structure the frame structure that supports the a-arms the a-arms had to get built little crisscross down below there for the shock mount now this shock here is about an inch and a half longer than this one i mean you can look at this and say hey it looks kind of kind of awkward here and the the truth is i'll be able to cut and move this up so the shocks will be the same size so that'll solve that little problem there are different types of shocks so the reservoirs are different but that looks pretty cool having it tied there uh one thing I do have to work on, and that's going to be the next thing I do, is the steering. Now, I know that they have uh, cheap little rack and pinions that I can put in here. Or else, I can kind of just build things. And I'm thinking about just kind of like a go-kart. you got the triangle that goes back and forth, which will make them go back and forth. But we need the pivots out here, or else we'll have awful bump steer. So... Basically, whatever I build here will have to be that distance there with the Himes out here going there. So, you know, I'm putting some thought to it, and uh, that's probably what I'm going to do for now. Maybe a rack will come in the future. One thing that's definitely coming in the future is bigger tires. I get this thing down on the ground, and I look at it, and it's like, well, that's about the ugliest vehicle I've ever seen. But, even imagine tires as big as the back up front that'll make all the difference in the world and uh i said i'm going to widen the back i'm going to it's probably going to end up being straight out with here so like i said it's about 10 inches i got to extend these tubes and axles out to and then i'm even thinking about putting dual shocks that looks pretty cool so and of course the gas tank needs to be mounted but i tell you what guys after busting ass all weekend long i'm a little tired today so i'm gonna edit a video and put it up for you guys and uh that's about all i'm doing today i'm gonna take a day off i work straight through the weekend and i'm tired so you guys enjoy the video i produced and uh any suggestions what you'd like to see from this vehicle in the future i'd sure love to hear from you because uh it's gonna be an interesting one i mean i'm thinking okay how am i gonna put the stereo here maybe mount a tv the whole idea is to kind of have a rolling living room but uh you know we'll see how it goes like to hear from you guys so have a great day like and subscribe to the channel please and uh we'll be rocking and rolling these uh these projects out for you take care